what I recommend to becoming a penetration tester is this. Step number one, decide and commit you want to become a penetration tester. Step number two, create a LinkedIn profile, build your profile up and build your LinkedIn network. Step number three, do try hack me every single day for an hour a day. And then after you complete all the pen testing and red teaming learning paths on try hack me, you want to graduate to weekly hack the box. Set number four, start pursuing foundational certifications. And while you're pursuing those foundational certifications, you want to still be doing daily try hack me. So you should be doing daily try hack me and foundational certifications at the same exact time. And the foundational certifications I recommend are CompTIA A+, Network Plus, Security Plus, and Pentest Plus. Step number five, get any IT or cybersecurity job that you can if you don't already have one. So at this point, you should be qualified for entry-level help desk and system administrator roles. And you should definitely be pursuing that type of work if you don't already have uh, that kind of job under your belt. Number six, step number six, learn a programming language. It doesn't matter which one. I chose Python and that's what uh, is a very good option, but you can't go wrong with any programming language. Step number seven, make sure you understand Linux. If you don't understand Linux and you're not intimately familiar with the command line, take a Linux course or a Linux certification. Step number eight, start pursuing intermediate certifications. Start with the EJPT or the PJPT. And after you get one of those two certifications, you want to pursue either the OSCP, the PMPT, or the CPTS. Step number nine, at this point, in my opinion, you are qualified to be a penetration tester full time and you want to start pursuing jobs. So learn how to write resumes, learn how to write cover letters, learn how to conduct interviews and learn how to sell yourself to recruiters and hiring managers. Set number 10, while you're looking for a job or even after you land your first pen testing job, you want to either pursue advanced certifications, pursue other intermediate certifications or start pursuing web app certifications. At this point, you can kind of choose your own adventure and you really can't go wrong as long as you're learning something. So set number 10, continue learning while you're looking for a job and after you get your first job. And if you do that, I do think you're going to find success.